There are times when a forgotten detail from history suddenly snaps into focus and makes you rethink how people lived centuries ago. One such detail comes from the Viking Age, where communities survived brutal northern winters without the endless consumption of firewood. For years, archaeologists and survival experts wondered how quitty Viking families stayed warm through icy nights when daylight was scarce and resources were limited. Yet these settlers didn't just survive, they farmed, raised children, and built thriving coastal communities in some of the coldest environments in the world. What kept them alive wasn't luck. It was a small, clever method of heating that modern survivalists would instantly recognize. This technique is known today as a heat battery, but for the Vikings, it was simply a practical part of daily life. It relied on a fundamental concept that modern engineers call thermal mass, the ability of certain materials to absorb heat slowly, store it, and release it steadily over long periods. The Vikings instinctively understood that some materials weren't just good at getting warm, they were excellent at staying warm. Stone, clay, and packed earth became their most important winter allies. Once heated in the evening, these materials continued to radiate warmth through the night. Long after the flames had died down, archaeological digs across Iceland, Greenland, and Norway provide clear evidence of this system. Hearths were reinforced with heavy stones, and many Viking Age longhouses had recessed fire pits built intentionally below floor level. These weren't decorations or structural supports, they were heat reservoirs. Stones placed around the hearth show distinctive wear patterns that prove they were heated repeatedly over many years. Even Icelandic turf houses, some of which remained in use into the 20th century, still rely on similar principles. The continuity is remarkable. This tradition lasted more than a thousand years because it worked exceptionally well. There were several ways the Vikings used thermal mass to create what we now call a silent heat trap. One approach was to line a pit or chamber beneath the floor with large stones, heat them thoroughly in the evening, and then allow the warmth to rise slowly into the living space. Another method involved heating clusters of rocks inside the hearth and then moving them to areas where people slept. Some longhouses featured raised sleeping platforms with space underneath for heated stones, turning the bed itself into a radiant heat source. In other cases, the stone-lined hearth was intentionally recessed to concentrate warmth and allow it to spread gradually throughout the night. All of these designs had the same purpose, warm the room safely without the need to maintain a burning fire. A key part of this technique depended on selecting the right stones. Vikings preferred dense, dark stones such as basalt, granite, and smooth shoreline rocks, which could withstand high temperatures without cracking. These stones had excellent heat capacity, meaning once they were hot, they stayed hot for hours. They avoided porous stones or rocks that contained moisture, since these could crack or even explode when heated. Their choices show a deep understanding of materials, an understanding sharpened by centuries of practical experience. Modern survivalists, homesteaders, and off-grid builders can easily recreate this ancient heating system with simple tools. The process begins with selecting dense, smooth stones from a riverbed or quarry. These stones must be heated thoroughly, either in a campfire or a wood stove, until they're too hot to touch. Once heated, they can be placed under a raised bed frame, set along the interior wall of a shelter, or arranged inside a clay-lined pit, covering the stones with wool blankets, thick cloth, or even a layer of earth slows heat release and prevents burns while maintaining steady warmth throughout the night with the right setup. 
A small off-grid cabin can stay warm until morning simply by heating a row of granite stones in the evening. This system also works beautifully for camping. Three or four fist-sized stones heated by a fire and wrapped in spare fabric can keep the inside of a sleeping bag warm until dawn. These aren't hypothetical tricks. They are field-tested methods that northern cultures have relied on for centuries. Whether in longhouses, huts, tents, or turf homes, the principle remains the same. Build heat into the environment, then let the materials do the work. Today, the Viking heat trap holds more value than ever. In a world where energy costs continue to rise and grid failures become more common, this ancient technique reminds us that warmth doesn't always require constant fuel. It requires smart design. Many modern heating systems, from rocket mass heaters to cob benches and thermal banks, operate on the exact same principle used by the Vikings. The only difference is the scale and the materials. What's striking is that the Vikings discovered this long before scientific terms like thermal capacitance existed. Their survival depended on understanding nature, not overpowering it. There are many ways to apply this strategy to modern preparedness and off-grid living. A survival cabin or root cellar can be designed around a central stone bench that absorbs heat in the evening and radiates warmth all night long. Outdoor field setups can use heated stones to maintain cooking temperatures or provide heat for sleeping areas with minimal fuel. Even gardeners can benefit from this technique by placing preheated stones inside cold frames to protect seedlings from frost. The simplicity and versatility of this method make it valuable in almost any situation where conserving fuel is important. The silent Viking heat trap is more than an archaeological footnote. It's a powerful reminder that some of the smartest survival strategies come from people who lived close to the land and understood its limits. The Vikings are celebrated for their ships, their exploration, and their warrior culture. But their domestic innovations were just as crucial. Their homes were not just shelters, they were intelligently designed environmental systems built to make life possible in harsh northern climates. For anyone interested in survival skills, off-grid living, or the practical side of history, the Viking heat trap offers a timeless lesson. You don't always need more resources. Sometimes, you just need the right knowledge. If you found this exploration of ancient survival engineering fascinating, and want more insights that blend history with real-world applications, make sure to subscribe, comment, and share this video with others who appreciate both the old wisdom and the modern relevance it carries.